sixth grade, module four, lesson 34, problem set. Write and graph an inequality for each problem. Number one, at least 13. So I'm gonna go ahead and graph it first because then I think it's easier to look at it, the graph and write an inequality. So something is at least 13. So I'm gonna circle 13. If it's at least 13, then it could include 13. So it's 13 or more. So I'm just going to use x. So x must be greater than or equal to 13 would be our inequality to represent that graph. Less than 7. So x must be less than 7. So I'm going to find 7. And it can't be, it doesn't say equal to or less than or equal to 7, it just says less than 7. So I'm going to keep the circle open. and x is less than 7. Number 3. Chad will need at least 24 minutes to complete a 5k race. However, he wants to finish in under 30 minutes. So he needs at least 24 minutes. So, so between 24 minutes, and it could be 24 minutes, exactly. He just needs at least 24 minutes. But he wants to finish in under 30. So not 30, he wants to finish less than 30. So anywhere in between there. So I keep that circle open because we don't want 30. So x needs to be less than 30, but it needs to be greater than or equal to 24. So x is greater than or equal to 24. If I'm looking at it backwards. So 24 is less than or equal to x is less than 30. Eva saves $60 each week. Since she needs to save at least $2,400 to go on a trip to Europe, she will need to save for at least 40 weeks. Okay, so she saves $60 a week. She needs to save at least 2,040 weeks, and she needs to save for at least 40 weeks. So all the other information that we need to know is that she just she'll need to save at least 40 to, Weeks. So let's circle 40 and I'm going to fill it in. And it needs to be greater than or equal to 40. So x needs to be greater than or equal to 40. Number five Clara has $100. She wants to buy four pairs of the same pants. Due to tax, Clara can afford pants that are less than $25. So she wants to buy four pairs of the same pants. She can afford pants that are less than $25. So we have $25 and she can afford anything less than that. So it's going to go anywhere from here all the way down to really, they didn't include zero, but you can't spend less than $0. So I shouldn't have filled that in. So anywhere down to zero dollars on pants so i'm going to use a blue blue graph there so she can spend anywhere between zero and 25 dollars so x needs to be less than 25 but it needs to be greater than zero so zero is less than x is less than 25 dollars and number six a gym charges $30 per month plus $4 extra to swim in the pool for an hour. Because a member has just spent $50 to spend it has just $50 to spend at the gym each month, the member can swim at most 5 hours. So they can swim at most 5 hours or they could swim 0 hours. So between 5 and 0. But they don't have to swim 0 hours. But they could. So they could swim 0 and 5 hours. So x needs to be less than 5, but it needs to be, or it could be great less than or equal to 5, or it could be greater than or equal to 0. So 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 5. And that is the end of the entire fourth module.